Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you about installing themes in Jekyll. Now, if you just created your Jekyll site, you'll notice that you're using a specific theme. And so over here on my website, the look and the feel of the site is really well defined, right? And when I go over to one of my blog posts, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's styled, it's responsive, it's um, it looks like a, a really good website. And that's because we're using a theme. And by default, when you create a new Jekyll website, it ships with a default theme called Minima. And you can actually check to see if your website's using Minima by going over to this config.yaml file, scrolling all the way down, and there's this entry here, theme, and in my case, it's set to Minima. And so this controls what theme your website's using. And this Minima theme is good, it looks good, it's a pretty solid theme, but what happens when you wanna use a different theme? And there's a whole libraries of themes for Jekyll out there on the internet, and so if you're not liking the Minima theme or you don't wanna to commit to it, you can actually use different themes. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to install one of those themes. The first thing we need to do is find a theme that you wanna use. and in my opinion, the best way to do that is to come over to this website. It's rubygems.org. And here in rubygems.org, I wanna search for Jekyll hyphen theme. And a lot of the Jekyll themes that have been created use Jekyll theme in their name. And so if you just search for Jekyll theme, it should come up with a long list of themes that you can use in Jekyll. So if you look down here, you can see here's that Minima theme and there's just you know a whole list here of different themes that we can use. And what you should do is kind of look through and see if, you know what these themes kind of look like and see if there's any themes that catch your eye. So you can basically just pick whatever theme you want. Um, here's a theme, Jekyll Theme Hacker. And whenever you find a theme that you wanna look at, if you go down here into the bottom, there's usually a link for the homepage. And usually on these themes, the homepage is just gonna be a GitHub repository. And what you should do is go down to this readme.markdown file and just sort of read about the theme. And once you find a theme that you like, you can actually preview it. So over here, there's this button to preview the theme. And generally all of the theme pages are gonna have some sort of an option for you to preview what it looks like. So if you click on that, you can go to the page and see a demo of what that theme's gonna look like. So here's this hacker theme and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this theme. And what you wanna do is you wanna grab the name of the theme. So in our case, it's just Jekyll Theme Hacker. And once you have the name of the theme, then you wanna head back over to your text editor and I'm gonna open up this gem file. So this is a file that basically allows you to specify different dependencies for your Jekyll site. And if you look here, we already have an entry for Minima. So we already have an entry in here for this Minima theme. So I'm just gonna add another entry, and this time it's gonna be for this Jekyll theme hacker. So add this line into your gem file and obviously you're gonna replace Jekyll theme hacker with the name of the theme that you wanna use. And once you've done that, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to head down into our terminal and I'm just gonna close the server so I'm not gonna run the server anymore. And here inside the terminal, I just wanna type bundle install. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna tell uh, Jekyll to basically go out and install uh, all of the gems that are inside of this gem file that we don't have already. So this will basically install that Jekyll theme hacker for us. And you can see here that it's installing it just like that. So once you've done that, we want to head over to our config.yaml file. And inside the config.yaml file, I just wanna update this theme variable. So instead of minima, I want it to be Jekyll theme hacker. And once we have that set, as the theme, I can just restart my Jekyll server. And I wanna restart it using the command um, bundle exec Jekyll serve. And if you use this command, it'll basically configure everything and get everything up and running so you can use the new theme. If I head over to my website, when I refresh the page, it should just use that new theme automatically. 
but you'll notice when I refresh the page that nothing happens. I just get a blank screen. And this is actually something that's probably going to happen to you if you decide to use a new theme. If we look over here in the output, you'll notice it's complaining about not having a layout called page, not having a layout called post, and not having a layout called home. And if I go over here into my files, I actually have these files using trying to use this layout page. This index.markdown file is trying to use this layout home. And this blog post over here is trying to use this layout post. The problem is that the theme that we downloaded doesn't actually have those layouts available. So the Minima theme had a post layout, a page layout, and a home layout. But this new Jekyll theme, hacker theme, doesn't have those different types of layouts. So I'm going to go back over to this GitHub page, and I just want to see uh, what layouts it has. So in here in the layouts folder, we can basically see, OK, so this only has a, a layout called default. So it doesn't have a post layout doesn't have a page layout and doesn't have a home layout. So I'm going to have to replace all of these front matter tags with default. So instead of being layout post, it's just going to be default. And I'll do the same for this about page. And I'll do the same for this index page. And now when I refresh my page over here, it should generate into the full site and be using that theme. So that was the problem that I ran into where the layouts that I was trying to use inside of my files weren't included in that new theme. And when you're switching your site over to a new theme, you want to make sure that your layouts are going to be able to transfer over or that you're going to be able to just switch the layouts. What you don't want to do is have a bunch of pages using a bunch of different layouts um, for a particular theme and then try to switch to a different theme only to find out that all those layouts aren't supported. So it's something to keep in mind, but that's the basics of installing a new theme on Jekyll. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.